Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Crow's Greenfoot Lessons. Um, we have just finished changing our image uh, and using parameters to uh, alter the image on each one. So every time we hit a wall, we bounce off the wall and we change our image, uh, change what animal we are. So we're going to continue with this, um, but we're going to add in a few things. We're going to, when you click, um, you're going to add another object in and it's going to be located where the mouse is. So we're going to need to find information from the mouse and be able to access that. So if you double click on your world class to get the world class information up and go to the tree, this gives you the packages that are available, the world class, uh, all the greenfoot um, options here. So we have greenfoot dot greenfoot. Um, and if you scroll down within the Greenfoot class API, we have the mouse info. So it returns a mouse info object with information about the state of the mouse. So that's what we're looking for. Okay. And within that mouse info, um, you are able to find the X and Y value of the mouse. So you can find where the mouse is. Um, you can also get button. The number of pressed or clicked buttons, so you could double click or triple click, usually, um, or you can right click, left click, and then click count, as well as a few others. So, um, we have our little guy bouncing around here. We want to go to our world, um, my world. Let's get out of the documentation and go to source code. So, we previously just had it like this but we need to create an act method um, public void acts they're not default there's no act method default into um, the world class that's what we're in the world class and we're gonna copy and paste actually cut our paste our information in here and so now um, we need to have this happen only if we're going to add object only if if greenfoot dot okay so we're going to go it, it's a green it's mouse clicked is what it is but that should have been the first thing we saw so let's go into back to world see if we can open that up the tree and this is just green foot information okay so besides mouse info um, you can get mouse pressed which is true if the mouse has been pressed or mouse clicked and true if the mouse has been clicked pressed and released so we're gonna do mouse clicked for now and you can test the, between the two um, so if you hold down the mouse mouse press would continue doing this mouse click is when you let go so we're going to do mouse clicked so that is why we do greenfoot dot mouse clicked we found it from the greenfoot documentation greenfoot dot mouse clicked and this actually gives you so mouse clicked if you control space you can have this auto populate up it actually assumes an object that you want to be clicked but for us we want to be able to click anywhere we're not clicking any spe specific object and so now let's throw our add object new animal in once we click so compile no syntax errors let's clean this up edit auto layout make it a little nicer here we go okay so um, run so now it won't have anything in predetermined in the world but if I click uh, you can go crazy with it okay and the direction is random you get a whole bunch of different animals and objects okay and soon enough we're gonna be all over the place yep all right, so um, now let's have it actually locate 
where we are at. Okay, so we are going to need to add objects not at 230, 203, because that's where it was previously. We need to find the X and Y value of the mouse clicked. And so if we go back, and there's a faster way to get through this, but um, tree, green foot, and you go down to mouse info, this is where all the mouse info is stored. Um, we can get X and get Y, okay? But we know that it is mouse info. So we need to create a variable that is able to access that mouse info since we're within the world, okay? So we're gonna do um, mouse info and we need to call it some variable and equals greenfoot dot let me see let's double check here yes greenfoot dot get mouse info so we need to go back in here, get our code up and running. Greenfoot.get mouse info. And then now we're going to access our info, our mouse info. So now this variable is getting all the mouse info that we need. And within that mouse info right here, we can get X and get Y. So just by doing so we did greenfoot dot get mouse info and that has been stored in that info so now since we've done that we can place info info dot and that will get the all that stored right here and we can get X and info dot get y and then that will get y of the mouse info so greenfoot dot get mouse info get the x returns the current x position of the mouse so that's what we're getting and that's what we're going through so we're using that dot info dot get y info dot get x to access the info the get mouse info, the get x method within the greenfoot.get mouse info method. Okay, so now we run and I can go anywhere on the screen and there we are. Okay, okay, this is a short one. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I hope this was beneficial to you to add on and, and get some information on how to use your mouse properly and uh, be able to get information from your x and y value of the mouse. So, hope you uh, enjoy, hope you subscribe, hope you like. Uh, please leave any comments if you have any questions. Thanks, see you next time.